Hello everyone and welcome to today's edition of Ace This Recipe. I'm Chef Jason Morris, your Ace Hardware Grill Expert, hanging out again at my local Ace Hardware. Today, we're talking all things salmon on the new Traeger Ironwood Grill. That's right, we've got a quick and easy salmon recipe that will leave you uh, wanting more. That's right, grilled and smoked salmon is absolutely fantastic. So thanks for joining us today on this edition of Ace This Recipe. It's time to get cooking. When we talk about a simple recipe, right? We mean we don't have a lot of ingredients and we don't have a lot of steps. It's really, really simple. We uh, got some beautiful coho salmon today from our friends at Whole Foods. We're gonna use a little bit of lemon just to finish it and garnish it. We're gonna use a light oil and then we're gonna mix brown sugar, our fishy fishy and our rub-a-dub. We'll mix that up in a little bowl. And then what we'll do is we'll skin the salmon. Uh, I'm a firm believer of skinless fish. Uh, I think that there's some subcutaneous fat in there that when you grill it at a high temperature, maybe gets a little bit off tasting. So we'll go ahead and skin this and then we're gonna season it up nice and neat with our little mixture. But then we're gonna let that sit for about 20 minutes while we get the ironwood heated up. So we'll turn that to 180 degrees smoke. We'll get that all fired up and ready to go while our salmon enjoys its uh, spice bath, so to speak. First thing we need to do is we need to get this spice mixture, right? So I'm gonna use a little bit of brown sugar, maybe about, uh, we've got four pieces of salmon. So let's say we go with about four tablespoons. That should give us about a tablespoon per. Fishy fishy is gonna be the taste. Uh, this is gonna give you that really nice herb and a little bit of spices as well. And like I always say, I like to do it to taste. Uh, that way you get to pick pretty much what you like on it. And then we'll finish it off with a little bit of rub-a-dub as well. And then we will get that all mixed up and ready to go. So, that rub-a-dub opened up. A Little bit of that to taste as well. And remember, we're gonna coat both sides of this. So I like to make a little bit more uh, of this mixture. That way it gives us a chance to uh, have some for the front and the top and the sides and the bottom as well. So go through here, I'll break up any brown sugar that has clumped up. We'll give this a nice mix. Great thing about this is we're really gonna start low on this grill uh, and give it some smoke. So give this uh, rub a chance to stick really nice. And then we're not going super high so we don't really have to worry about it burning, which is great. Uh, and then there we go. Just like that. That is our rub that is set and ready to go. Now, when it comes to the salmon, what we're gonna do with that is we're just gonna take the skin off the bottom of these guys, right? So here's the skin we wanna take off. I've just got a scimitar, a little boning knife. What I like to do is turn it to the side and I'll make just a little cut so I can hold it with my finger and I will peel back on this and we'll just go right down nice and neat and get that taken off. And what I'm trying to do is, see how we left some of that fat on here? I wanna leave that fat. I wanna get as much of this brown off as possible. I think this adds a little off flavor and you want your salmon as pure as can be. So if you find a little bit too much of that, you can just come right back and trim that off about as well as you can without taking off any extra fish. But that's the easy part of the prep. And I already seasoned one of these up and I wanna show you real quick what I'm gonna do here. So I'm gonna drizzle just a little bit of oil on here, right? Just enough to coat the top and the back as well. And I don't want a lot. I use oil because oil is very neutral in its flavor. Uh, mustard, barbecue sauce, things like that uh, tend to, uh, as they cook, I think get a little more reduced, maybe a little more bitter. So I like to just stick with some oil, but we get a nice coating on there like that. And now we can go ahead and do the rest of these as well. And I like to keep one hand uh, for the fish and one hand for the spice and the oil. That way I don't carry all that stuff around with me. So, little seasoning on here. Nice thing about that oil too, really does a great job letting this rub just melt right into this salmon. All right, a little bit here. Move that guy out of the way. And the last piece here. So pretty quick and easy, right? We'll go ahead and get this finished up. And when we come back, it is time to uh, get the Traeger fired up, load the hopper, turn it on and get it ready. The pellet of choice today is our Ace Hardware Reserve Blend. So we have a little bit of oak, cherry, and maple. I, uh, I'll tell you what, I'm kind of a creature of habit. This pellet tends to uh, really fuel a lot of my cooks. I enjoy this flavor a lot. Um, and I find it works so well on everything that Honestly, it's just kind of become my go-to pellet for everything I do, Traegering. So, 
We'll go ahead and turn on the ironwood. Uh, we'll get it all set and ready to go here. Once that welcome screen comes up, we're gonna go ahead and dial it to 180 degrees, right? We're gonna do 180 degree smoke today. Push the in, enter. We will hit ignite. Now we'll let it do its thing. Once this reaches temperature, uh, what we'll do then is load our salmon onto our Traeger grill pan. We'll get it on here for about 45 minutes to an hour, really depending on how much smoke time you want. Okay, we have the Traeger heated up and uh, set and ready to go at 180 degrees. And what we're gonna do, we preloaded our grilling pan. We're gonna go ahead and take the salmon, lay it right on top of the grilling pan. And we don't wanna pack it on there too tight. We wanna give it enough room so that smoke really has a chance to work its way into this fish. The beauty of adding a little bit of smoke ahead of time is now I'm gonna just build a little bit of flavor, right? I'm gonna use this grill to get all the flavor I want and then get ready to turn this up and finish it off. About 20 minutes in and let's take a quick peek at that salmon, see where we're at. See how we're starting to dry out a little bit? I like that, I want this to dry out just a little bit. What that does is locks in all the moisture so that when I turn the temperature up, it stays nice and juicy and we get a beautiful, juicy, flaky salmon. We are ready to go, so I'm gonna turn this up to 375. We're gonna hit enter and now we're gonna let that temperature just do its thing and climb. Um, what I like about leaving it on there is now as that temperature heats up, it's actually cooking the salmon so we're being a little more efficient. We're uh, keeping all that energy to use, uh, heating the salmon up and searing it up. Okay, so now we're gonna add the temperature probe in here. So what I like to do first, I like to plug it in. It's gonna bring up a screen, set probe alarm, yes. Set probe alarm temperature, 145. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now what I'll do is slide it through the side here. I'll pull all the wire in, and then I'm gonna find the biggest, fattest, juiciest piece of salmon right there. We're gonna load that probe in the middle. We'll go ahead and close it. And now the cool thing is we get to track temperature and watch all of this going down on the app on our phone. Quick temperature check. We are at 140 degrees. We've got five degrees left. I'm gonna go ahead and glaze these guys with a little bit of fire honey, right? So we'll go ahead and get that cord out of the way. Be careful because that is hot. But we'll go ahead and hit a little bit of honey on here. We'll do a nice little glaze over the top. Brush all those spices back in as well. A little more on that guy. Let that honey melt in while we glaze. Get that going as well. The nice thing about this salmon, we're gonna take it to 145. Uh, we'll let it carry over just a little bit, but I really like to take fish at its peak, right? I don't wanna cook, overcook it. I wanna take it right to the edge of being done. Uh, that way it stays nice and juicy and tender. So we'll close that. We've got probably about five more minutes and then we are done. All right, you guys, well, here we have it. So we'll go right off of our Traeger uh, grill pan and we'll go right there onto that. And I'll tell you what, like I said earlier, I like to cook the salmon right to the edge of being done, right? So right at that 145 degrees, I don't want it to be overcooked. Uh, we'll serve a little bit of lemon on there and squeeze a little bit on top as well. But that is pretty much it. Super uh, wonderful, tasty, and easy. This recipe took us about 35, 40 minutes of smoke time. Uh, we left it on there, turned it up, and it took us about another 25 minutes to finish it off. So really, really quick. Uh, this recipe is available down below for you. So click on the name of the video. That will expand that category. We have this recipe set up for you to click, print, and download. And then while you're down there as well, leave us a comment. Tell us what you'd like to see. What would you like to learn? How can we be more helpful in the wonderful world of grilling? Then uh, up top there, there's that little eye. Click on that eye. That's gonna let you in on everything. That's gonna tell you the, the rubs, the gear, the gadgets, the grills, everything that we used here today for this Ace This Recipe video. So thanks so much for cooking along with us. We appreciate it. We love hanging out with you. We enjoy cooking with you too. Make sure to tell all your friends and family, it is time to subscribe to the Ace Hardware YouTube channel. That way you are notified when all of our content goes live. So as uh, you know, I don't always like to eat right uh, in front of you, but I definitely like to do a little quality control. And this coho salmon is absolutely fantastic. Beautiful glaze of honey. Beautiful finish of brown sugar, rub-a-dub, and fishy-fishy. I'm Chef Jason Morse, your Ace Hardware Grill Expert. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. We'll see you on the next edition next week of Ace This Recipe.